Dr. Siobhan with a spoon. And I am Dr. Anthony with a spoon. Integrate Health and Wellness PLLC is a full service wellness center. Mm -hmm. uh, we sincerely strive to be the Triangle's premier wellness center. Uh, we specialize in a variety of holistic health care services, ranging, of course, from chiropractic and rehab to, to massage, also aesthetic services as well. Uh, we also do nutritional counseling, uh, supplement recommendations, and just a list of holistic services aimed to help people obtain and maintain wellness. And we also do some uh, federal DOT uh, testing as well as physicals and um, federal drug and alcohol testing too um, for our truckers <laughs> and CDL holders. As chiropractors, uh, our goal in healthcare or our, our um, scope here in the, in the healthcare sector is to get sick people healthy and to keep healthy people healthy without any drugs or any surgeries. Um, and that's truly our mission here. Now there's more of a focus on preventative care um, and wellness care. Uh, people would like to know what's going on before they actually catch a disease or they would actually like to uh, prevent, you know, the, the possibility of them catching the disease. And that's right where chiropractic uh, kind of steps into that little void. Mm -hmm. um, since we do believe in keeping people healthy and getting sick people healthy without drugs or surgery, then we kind of feel a little void that people didn't really even recognize that it was there. It's two different approaches to healthcare, I, I really feel. Um, and neither one of them is wrong. I really believe that every form of healthcare has its place. Um, and no one is better than anyone as far as from physician to physician. Traditional medicine has marketed itself to the point where it is seen as what you have to do to maintain health. And what I mean by that is we've kind of become a, a accustomed to what in some circles we call sick care. Mm -hmm. You don't really think about your health until you get sick. And then when you get sick, you go to your doctor and your doctor pres prescribes you a pill or tells you you need a surgery. and you go along with that. Sometimes that pill causes a side effect that you need another pill for, mm -hmm. or that surgery wasn't as successful as you wanted it to be, and then now you'd have to get another surgery. We more look at traditional medicine as sick care, more so than healthcare. Mm -hmm. um, on the chiropractic and holistic side, uh, we kind of look at the body as a whole. We look at more preventative services. We try to figure out ways that people can live their best life um, in a healthy way before you get sick uh, to kind of make sure your body is able to work at tip top shape 100% of the time. And when you get sick, when you have a disease or something that the body is not able to fight off, then that's where, um, you know, your medicines and your surgeries have, have their, their spot. But for the most part, I say the biggest difference between wellness or holistic care and traditional medicine is modern medicine kind of treats symptoms and signs, whereas holistic care kind of looks at the whole body. What is actually causing that sign of that mm -hmm. symptom to appear? And why is that there? Let's try to correct that instead of let's just take out of the body or let's cover up what that sign or that symptom is displaying. You got it. Hey, that's it there, <laughs> We don't do a lot of preventative care. We don't do a lot of wellness um, before a person gets sick. We don't really, we're not even exposed to that. We're not conditioned to even think like that. Mm -hmm. That um, if before you are exposed to a disease or before you actually start to feel a pain or you see a lump or something like that mm -hmm. then some that there are sometimes things that we could be doing beforehand yeah. taking the right supplementation making sure we have the right nutrition making sure we go to the chiropractor and making sure that you know your spine is aligned so that everything is communicating the way it's supposed to in the body um making sure that these things are able to, the, the body is able to do what it's supposed to do 100 percent of the time 
and that it's able to deal with the barrage of um, pathogens that might be trying to invade your body or the different forces that are that you're exposed to on a daily basis that may you know um, cause muscles to strain or uh, ligaments to sprain those things it's certain things you can do for your body to condition it beforehand and that's that's those things are what we're not exposed to yeah. in the black community um in fact that's that's kind of how i fell in love with chiropractic I, I had no idea what it was before i was in school and the first um lecture that i sat in it's, it's, they explain to me, hey, you all would be able to get sick people healthy and keep healthy people healthy without any drugs and any surgeries. And, I, and it blew my mind. I had never heard of anything like this. And I, and it, and I said, man, I got to be able to take this back to my community. So that's the, it, the how chiropractic helps the black community is that it exposes us to, some, to a different form of healthcare that we never even knew existed. And we have so many misconceptions about health, you know, traditional medicine, holistic care. Um, and some of those things need to be cleaned up in our community so that our our community can start leading all uh, categories of bad health, you know, and, and, and until we are able to kind of tell people what's going on and we get the right messaging out, then we are always kind of going to lag behind in our health. And that, that, that hurts us. That hurts us as a, as a community. Yeah. And at least, you know, seeing somebody that kind of looks like you, maybe mm -hmm. they'll listen um, a little bit more than if they go to somebody else and somebody's just telling them things. And, you know, as we don't, we've been taught not to kind of trust everything, you know, mm -hmm. like don't trust this because we don't know what, you know, what motives they may have. And we feel, especially with, you know, people that come in, people of color that come into us, they tend to listen to us a little bit more than they will listen to somebody else. And just to know that we have your back, we're not doing this for, you know, money or we're not doing this for anything else other than to see our community rise and be healthier and be exposed to more than what we've already been exposed to. And that's why we do it.